Hey hustlers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine, aka Jazz Hustles, and I am a 20 year old Amazon seller. I started selling in the beginning of this year and I'm still going at it. I'm just going for a lion's look or whatever. But as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Keepa software. A lot of people get really confused with the Keepa graph, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it, all sorts of things like that with the Keepa software. So without further ado, let's get to this video. If you haven't already, make sure to like it up and subscribe. Subscribe for more. Truck to the plane to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite. Okay, so I just pulled up four different listings so that I can show you exactly how to read the keeper graph on all of them. So most of the time the keeper graph is going to look like this once you get the software and it's really confusing looking all i do is just leave the green pink and orange colors on there so that i can see more um and not see all this nonsense so i'm just taking all of these colors out so that i can see the real colors that i actually am interested in so these are pretty much the colors that i um tend to look at the most so do this on your keepa software so then you can you know look into it more without all that you know trash um so the first thing you're going to want to check once we're on a listing and you're looking into the keepa graph is of course the pink line the pink line is the most important line it's the buy box line so basically if you guys don't know what the buy box is it's the buy box right here it's basically the first price customers see once they click on a listing so here it'll let you know who is winning the buy box when the buy box changes and how you know quick it rotates so as you can see here we have the pink buy box. Let me just take out these other colors just so I can show you better. Um, you can see from the last three months, the last month, last week, or last day, or you can just do all and that'll just let you see the price history from ever since this listing was created. So I usually just look at the first, well, the last three months. And you just honestly want to make sure that the pink line is either steady around the same range. So you can see here, um, in the last three months, it's been about 35 um, between 40, so that's perfect. So it's been steady, it's actually been rising, and as you can tell, it's rising even more. Now it's in the 40s to 45s. You just don't want to see the buy box line going from like, let's say 35 to 40 um, in September, and then now it's going down to 30 to 35, and then 25 to 30. Then that just means that the price is basically going to be tanking. By the time you get your units sent to you, it's just not going to be as profitable. So this is a really good looking graph. As you can tell, the pink line is rising, and usually when the pink line is rising, the offer count is going down. So so this is the third graph this is the offer count this basically lets you know how much sellers were selling this item on a given time so you can see here in the beginning of September when it was around 35 to 40 there was about 21 sellers 20 22 23 and now that you see it's rising you can see the offer count is declining and I love seeing it like that because that means that the price is rising, the offer count is declining, those offers, those sellers are selling out with their units and they're probably having a hard time finding more products so it's becoming more rare this certain product and the of course when the product becomes rare or starts to get like you know uneasy to find then the price is definitely going to go up especially if there's um, high demand for it. So 100 plus bought in the past month so we can see here price is rising offer count is declining like i said you don't want the price to be declining and you don't want the offer count to be rising because that's how you know that this listing is eventually going to get so saturated where you're not really going to be able to make money um or break even or even lose money so now let's look into the green the green is the bsr sales drink line like i said you always want the bsr to be under 100k the highest it's been in the past three months is 207k but that's the highest it's been and it's only reached that point twice out of the, the past three months so i wouldn't mind selling this item if i found it profitable as you can tell now the bsr is going down because it is a toy item and you know christmas is coming up so the, of course the bsr is going to be going down the lower the bsr the better it is that means it's like you know actually selling there's high demand for it so i usually look for bsrs under 100k but like i said if it's not under 100k don't be scared 
as long as the price is going up and the sells well the sellers is going down so also the orange line not the orange line the orange shading is what I usually look at but as you can tell here Amazon isn't selling this item you can see in June they were selling it back and they used to sell it more back in like June so you can see the orange shading here they aren't currently selling it anymore but if they were to sell it or hop on of it hop on the listing then you'll see an orange shading I always like keeping the orange shading on the graph just so I know if Amazon's ever sold this item if they plan on you know continuing to sell it but as you can tell here they probably don't want anything to do with this product but you honestly never know they can just hop on the listing um, whenever they want to because they're Amazon so <clears throat> You can tell here, most sellers know that um, once you are on a listing and Amazon is selling that item, they're not gonna wanna sell it. So that's why the offer count was really small here. You can see um, when Amazon was selling it back in February, offer count one, and that's Amazon. One, one, two, one, 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 one. And I guess a lot of sellers started adding their price to this listing, so it's going up um and eventually it went down back up and now amazon is off of it so of course more sellers are going to hop on it so that's pretty much it um with sourcing this one so we're sourcing the graph on this one let's look into this one now so we have this disney pop uh funko pop villains we can see here that let's say that you you want to see a steady line of course but if it's like really steady like literally like straight then that's how you know that a seller or some brand is hogging the buy box because and you can tell here because it's just their price and it's just straight so we can see we can already tell I don't even have to look at the data buy box statistics but I'm going to show you guys how to do that um, but I already know that the sliding monkey is getting way over 50% um, for the buy box win. So let's see right now. So we go to data, buy box statistics. Basically the data buy box statistics is the percentage of each seller winning the buy box. So let's look in the last 90 days because that is what we are looking at the past three months on the Keepa. And we can see here sliding monkey 82%. So actually in the last 30 days, they haven't been hogging it as much. So 45% is good. You want the highest seller to have at least under 50%. If it's over 50%, you're not really gonna wanna sell it because they're basically hogging the buy box and you have a less likely chance of winning the buy box yourself and making the most sales. So let's go back here. Let's see in the past year. Oh look, Hot Topic was on before. Usually I stay away from like listings that like, you know, big stores that you see in malls um, are on just because like, I don't know, it just feels like they're always going to be winning the buy box. It's kind of like if Amazon was selling it, this is a good keeper graph to look at. The only thing to keep in mind is that Sliding Monkey, that storefront, was hogging the buy box a lot in the past three months. So you would have to just watch out for that. Let's look into this one. So this one I wanted to show you guys because the brand is selling it. And of course, if the brand is selling it, they're going to be winning the buy box basically 100% of the time, kind of if like Amazon was selling the item. So you can see here, it's super straight, like super straight. You can see here a really high increase, but that's only because they changed their price to $18.96 and then they brought it back down to $11.97. I'm not really too sure why, but they have been, wow. Let's see if ever since this listing was made, ever since this listing was made, they got 100% buy box wins. I already know it, buy box statistics. Let's see, you're not gonna wanna sell this item because as you can tell, the brand is selling it. Hero Cosmetics, 100%, no, 99% of the time, which is trash, 100%, 100%, 100%. not gonna want to sell this one I just wanted to show you guys if the the pink line is like literally so steady like it's just then it's most likely being hogged by a seller so watch out for that 
Now let's look into this one. I wanted to show you this last one. It's basically a variation listing. So it's when there's multiple sizes, flavors, bundles in that same listing. It's not just like a product being sold by itself, like this one. Like this one is just a 36 pack. That's it, the original, that's it. But this one is 12 pack, but there's Latin citrus, spicy pepper, tomato basil, and zesty lemon. So once you see that seller amp has the estimated sales for it so 728 that is based off of whole listing so if you want to sell the latin citrus you're gonna to have to see how much times it actually sells a month so you're just gonna go down to where it says variations and you're going to go to the flavor that you plan on selling all of this amazon is selling as you can tell all this orange shading so you wouldn't want to sell this item but i'm just showing you this as an example so latin citrus we're going to look for that one we're going to scroll to where it says ratings and reviews and we can see here the latin citrus sells 42 percent of the time so what we're going to do we're going to take 42 percent of 728 and it sells about 305 times a month so now you have a more accurate um, estimated sales number for that product so then you also won't be overstocked it's really important to look into that because you don't want to be overstocked thinking that the latin citrus sells about 700 times a month when in, in reality it sells about 300 times a month let's see if we wanted to sell the zesty lemon zesty lemon scroll one percent one percent that is bad so let's take one percent of 728 only sells seven times a month you're not going to want to sell the zesty lemon so you if you were to sell this item and you're profitable and amazon wasn't selling it these are the three flavors you would want to sell spicy pepper latin citrus and tomato basil most of the time the the winner of the listing there's going to be a little trophy so it lets you know which product is selling the most out of this whole listing so the spicy pepper is the popular one and the zesty lemon is the trashy one so i just wanted to show you that and you can see here let me take all these colors out the amazon is selling this item and they've been selling it for quite a few now yeah so you're not going to want to sell this item let's go into the data by box statistics 91 percent no bueno no bueno 93 95 81 they've always been over 50 percent so just make sure look at the buy box statistics look at the variations and see how much times each product sells a month if it's a variation listing um, also look at the offer count the offer count graph is really important because if you see the offer count rising super quickly you're not going to want to sell that item because it's eventually it's on the rise to getting saturated with saturation comes decrease in price so simple really simple that's pretty much it i don't really use this in the keepa software use my link i'm gonna put it in the description i'm telling you guys like it's really not that hard just make sure the pink line is steady but not too steady where it's like this because that's how you know that someone is dominating the buy box and yeah um i hope this video helped you guys out with your keepa graphing knowledge needs I don't even know what I just said. If this video helped you guys out, make sure to like it up and subscribe for more. Let me know also what other videos you guys would like to see. And if you aren't already, make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok where I post on those every single day. And if you're interested in learning more about Amazon FBA, the Jazz Hustles approach is going to be down below. It's my complete Amazon FBA guide. And if you got to the end of this video, comment the word Keepa down below so I know you're serious about this business. But that's it for today's short video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy holidays, stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon on the next one. Peace!